Sometimes manifesting means giving up something to get something else. Hey guys, just a little channeled writing here. Um, and it's about manifesting. So sometimes manifesting means giving up something that you no longer that no longer serves you. For instance, to give up an old relationship for a new one to come in, an old job for a new one to come in, an item that you no longer need. And so you can get another to do. And so does weeding of the garden on many different levels of perception, reality, and conception which is manifesting change for all things change, grow and evolve from where it is that you are to needing something different or more. And so it is a changing up of the energies from where you are, were, that you have been either learning and evolving from it in order to move forward, which is used up and no longer getting joy from it as everything is forever evolving. And so to stay where you are is stagnant and forever, which is a false illusion because nothing stays the same. And so it is suffering and limitation to lingering in and dwelling in the past when you yourself have moved on from that space from it, which is the present moment in the now, not the then that for that was was needed but now is no longer and so it is not always needed now and so when we open up to the idea that nothing lasts forever it is freeing and that we no longer need and we can flow through without suffering and hanging on to the grips of time as if your life is ending and suffering there is always better and more to come after this life, which is not the end of a life, but only this moment in time, for it is here that you are, that you're needing to get to in order to move forward from where you were for you to let go. When you can let go, you can move on. And so it is to let go and move on to the new things that arouse you and bring you more joy, not your limitations of what was. There is no shortage consciousness that limits your experience that you can have except for hanging on to the old. There's nothing more beyond this, which is a false illusion. And so there is so much more beyond what you're experiencing. And that is when you have moved on. So follow your bliss. Don't stay stagnant in any of this. This is limitation. Sharing your joy with others by being joyful in your expression. Follow your bliss. When we hang on to things, it brings us down and keeps us from moving forward. Let go. And so this is just, you know, of course, speaking in general terms, because a lot of us, when we're manifesting, don't really think about, yeah, we're giving up something to get something else. And so if this doesn't, if this doesn't make me happy, then I want something else. But we think of it when we're thinking in terms of wanting you know, um, we're always thinking of what else is in creation. It's like an automatic thing. It's like, okay, I'm in this space. Doesn't make me happy. What else do I want? What else is going to make me happy? Right. And so that's part of the manifesting. But when we think we, what we don't always think about is like, I have to move, give this up in order to get that. And so sometimes when we do like clearing and healing and letting go and moving out of relationships, it frees up space, you know, for those other things to come in because it's actually, um, weighing us down with that energy right because it's when it's something that's keeping us stagnant or something of the past that made us happy then um, no longer makes us happy it has the unhappy energy which is just the knowing that i'm ready to move on it's not that you need to hang on to it and carry it with you into the next phase of your life whatever that is relationship job or whatever right but in the process, if we don't let it go and be okay, I'm, re I'm ready to move on, it's done, let go, right? You're bringing that energy in and it's affecting the energy and vibration of creating something new. So if we, for instance, you know, we have bought a house and you're no longer happy there and you want to move, right? And you see this other thing, oh, I would love to do that, right? So what's keeping you here and not moving there? It's like this 
um, energy and vibration that's going against each other, right? And so it doesn't flow as easily as it possibly could if, if we were to just give up on what we had in the past um, that we're still experiencing in the present moment. That used to make us happy, but no longer makes us happy. We have the energy and vibration going on um, that we're experiencing, which is frustrating because we're not here, but it's keeping us from going there in that way because of the energy and vibration that we're putting. We have both sides of it, right? And so if we can just put it aside and let it go and just know that whatever it is is over and just put it down, you know, and move on, you know, it helps and frees up energy and flow of vib vibration and energy so we can bring more in. But again, a lot of us don't really think about it as giving up something to get something else. We just think about, I want something new or something different. Right, and those, so this is a different perspective to kind of look at it, you know. And so, like, if you have a house or you have items in your house or things that's passed on or moved on, you know, are are you donating them? Are you getting rid of them? Are you doing a yearly cleanses, you know, of your space because a lot of your space holds a lot of stuff from the past, right? And so we purchase things at that time because for whatever reason we needed it or we liked it or we loved it and then now we don't right but we still have it and we're hanging on to it and so we take it with us <laughs> wherever we go and that can be weighing and taxing on us right and so just a lot of heaviness and energy and stuff like that we're not meant to be holding on to um everything right and it's our attachment to it you know i brought this because it has sentimental memory or meaning to me but you still have that within your mind and your heart if that's the case you don't need something there for that to in it i know it does help bring you back to that memory when you see it but so does seeing that person or whatever it is going to be relating to so um that can be you know a little troublesome you know with giving up things you know when we're trying to manifest other things right it's just the energy that you're bringing from the past into the future right in the present moment into the future with us so if you can, you know, just kind of be okay with letting stuff go, um, not letting it hold you back from moving forward, then you can move forward much more easily and you know, open and flow of the energy that you're wanting to create, right? And so um, just kind of a little clip on that that had dropped in when we're talking about manifesting um, on that. Any questions, drop them below, like, share, and subscribe. It helps the channel also to grow and to get information out and help others as well. Happy journeys.